Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm already in a wig cap because we're going to do a flower fairy today. And with the flower fairy, you have to wear big, beautiful wigs and things unless you have really long hair. I don't clearly. I mean, I could have short hair and be a cute like pixie, but I decided to go with a blonde wig today. Um, that's like curly and cutesy and kind of what you would expect as, as like a little pretty fairy, basically. The face paint itself is actually only half a face, but you could do the whole face if you wanted to. But it does just focus on like one little C area. And that's really nice for people that don't like to have a lot of makeup on or a lot of uh, face paint because it itches maybe or they're not sure they're going to react to it. Just do it on, you know, this part. You could also do it on the arm for people that might be allergic. But the whole point is that it's easy. It's really quick. This is probably under five minutes to put together. I know I can actually do it like this face paint on a child in a minute and 30 seconds. So if you're really, if you get there, you can do it quick. So what we're going to start with is I have Diamond FX paints and today I'm just using pink, white, dark green, light green, and some glitter. I'm not even going to use any other colors. It's not necessary. You could also add in blue if you wanted to make the green even darker, but the dark green that I have is, is pretty good. It's fairly good. You can also use, if you want yellow or gold, you can use that at the end to kind of highlight. So what you're going to do is take your brush. I have a round brush here. It has a nice tip on the end and it's thick at the base. And when you do this, you're going to basically push down the brush just like this and it's going to make a shape like a petal. So you get that wet. And then you're going to put it in the pink. I also have Snazaru. I'm just going to, I'm going to show you this, me putting the white on here with Snazaru. So once your brush is loaded with your pink, you're going to take white just on the tip by swirling just the tip of your brush in it. So from here, you can see it's not the whole brush, it's just a bit. And that means that your brush itself will have two colors on it. You can start seeing the difference there. You might need a little bit more water to pick up that white or to make it even lighter. There you go. So what you're going to do then is just go like that and you can see there's more than one color, which is really good. And then you're going to do that all the way around. Just like that. And there's your first flower. It's really very simple. Um, this still had a bit of black, I think, in the base of the bristles, which is why there's a darker color other than the pink and white. So then what you're going to do is the same thing again. You load up the whole thing in pink really thickly. Then you pick up your white on the tip. And you're going to do the same thing. But I'm going to start here and do these little petals just up at the top. And they'll kind of go around the eye just as a frame. It's really like a nice little frame there. Sorry if the lighting's a bit bad tonight. I'm filming later than usual. You do the same thing. Now you're going to make another flower up here. So you got one, two, three, four, five. You can see on that one that I reversed it. So this time we had white on the inside. That time is the opposite. And you can choose whichever one you think is cuter. So the next thing you can do is decide, is that the only color you want? If you want purple or, you know, in your pink, you can also load it up the same way. Another thing you can do, which is a different way to load this, is you get a split cake like this one where you have pink and white. And what you do is you rub your brush back and forth like this and you're picking up both colors. You need enough water to make sure it's a clear definition between the two colors. It's kind of made a light pink, dark pink because of the mix. And then you would put this on, I'll, do, I'll show you here, same way, just like that, all the way around until you get the flower you want. And you can, you can build it up or do whatever, do whatever you want, but that's the shape it'll make all the way down, just like that, little petals. 
Then you do the same shape for leaves. But I'm going to finish off my flowers and then I'll show you how to do the leaves. So using it the other way, I'm going to load up my brush with this pink and white sideways. I just fill them in, try to fill in any gaps that I don't like particularly well, just like that. So you've gone all the way around and you have one side of your face all done with this. Now what you're going to do is your leaves. So with leaves, I have a Diamond FX split cake that looks like it's seen better days, but um, what it has is there's actually meant to be white in the middle, which is pretty much gone. Then there's a light green and dark green. So what you can do is the same thing where you're mixing across. Because you're picking up two colors. See how it gets darker at the end. You can also roll your brush just in the section you want and that'll also pick up the colors you want. And then you're going to take this and put your leaves in with the same general motion. You're going to put your leaves in. Just like that. And you can see when they're, they have a dark at the edge and then a lighter green in the middle. So that might be all I do for the actual paint. Um, what you would, well, with the actual colors, basically the next thing you do is you highlight with white always, and then you add glitter, and that's what really makes it pop out at the end. So what you're gonna do is wash your brush completely off, make sure it's really clean, and then you fill it up with white so that you have a full brush of white, just like this, now you're going to go back through and anywhere you have holes, you're going to put some dots in. It also serves as the middle of the flowers where the stem would be. And if you put a whole lot like together, it looks like baby's breath, which is really pretty. And you're just going to do this until you get enough that you feel like it's cohesive and you like how much white's on there. It's really up to you. You can add some swirls. Sometimes I add little swirls for little girls that want something special in it. And what you do is wait till it's dry and then you drag these little swirls over. And try to use a fine brush for this because it can look too thick and clunky if you don't. Just like that. And then you're just basically doing these little white accents just to give it more like character and to fill in your gaps. So once that's done, another trick that you can, you should know is that most of most of the kinds of face paint are antibacterial in nature, so you can use them on you know on lips and stuff too and it's okay. So sometimes I will do actual full makeup with face paint. So what you can do is say you like that pink a lot, but you want a bit of purple in it. You would load it up by loading the pink and then dabbing in the purple. So it's like this. And then just put it on your lips. And then you'll have purple on the inside and a pink on the outside. And 
you can just do the lips exactly like that. That's all you have to do. Then the eyes, say you want purple eyes with a bit of white on the tip. You would load it up like this. And then you're going to pull that over until it's where you want it. That's how I would do mine. I might not do it so bold for a little a little kid, but as some adults do this as well. You can add white back in at the corners if you want, just like normal eyeshadow. So that's basically what I would do. Um, at this point, you can put on all of your sparkles. Now, you can get iridescent sparkles that sparkle all different colors, or you can get ones that are just particularly, like, whatever color you're looking at. And I have this little green one, so I'm just going to tap my finger into it and put it on my green leaves. And each one of these, if you use a round brush, like a bigger round brush, they'll be about the size of your finger, so you don't have to worry too much. And then... The flowers are pink, so I'm going to take a pink glitter. It's like a magenta color. I'm going to tap my finger into it and get that pink. And put the pink on my pink petals. You don't have to do it all over. Just here and there will give it a nice effect. And then, for everything else, all the white, you could use gold or silver. I have a really nice in-between. It's kind of like rose gold almost. And I'm just going to put that on the white baby's breath. I'm going to tap it on my lips. Make sure you use cosmetic glitter because it's edible and it won't scratch the cornea if you get it in your eyes. And then for my eyeshadow, because I did purple, I'm going to use kind of like a green to just add a little bit of color to it. You can see like it makes a nice little sparkly difference in there. So that's all I would do um, with this makeup. For little kids maybe that are going out for the first time, you might mascara on their eyes instead of like a full false eyelash set. So that's all I do with that. Just a nice once over. And then if it's a little girl or a little boy even that wants to do this, you don't have to wear a wig at all, but I'm going to. So you would pull your wig over your wig cap Get it fairly straight and then pull it down. This is my uh, Cinderella wig for the new Cinderella. And you would pin it back so you could see your face. Just like that. You could even tie this back in like a little ponytail or something if you wanted to. Maybe like this. It'd be kind of cute. And then I have, because I always think that if you're going to be a fairy, you might as well be like a fairy princess. And I have a head piece here that goes in the middle of your forehead. And when you pull it over, oh, it's got stuck. It's not a very expensive one, so you might have some issues. But, so you pull it over your head. And then it's going to dangle right in the center of your forehead. With little kids, you can make these. It just takes um, three pieces of chain on an elastic and then a dangling jewel. And I think it makes it look really cute. If you have big wings, you would look like a nice fairy princess. This is your face. You have all these flowers and you might have a wand or whatever you want to do. And I think it's really quick. Um, this video is going to be about 15 minutes long, but most of it's been explanation, so if you, when you get down to it and you're just doing it, it's really fast. And 
there's another look at it. I hope you can see it all right. I'll take a picture so you can see at the end. And I hope you try it and tell me what you think and send me some pictures and I'm happy to put them up or not put them up as, as requested. And subscribe. Subscribe, like, follow. You can see me on Facebook. Um, it's facebook.com slash the skeleton's heart. Or you can follow me on Twitter at, at Katrina. And I'll be doing lots of these over the next few days. Sorry it's so dark. I'd love it to be a bit brighter, but I don't have a uh, white screen, so everything looks really harsh. But I hope you like it. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later.